Bishopan Theological Seminary envisions a theological institution that molds church workers to be mission-oriented, biblically competent, and to uphold the Wesleyan heritage. Bishop Han Theological Seminary is committed to develop dedicated ministers, vested with a passion to preach, evangelize, and interpret the gospel of Jesus Christ, transform lives, plant and organize churches, and demonstrate the passion of peace building for productive living, community, and nation building. The Bishop Han Theological Seminary aims to equip indigenous Christian leaders in their own context who are called not only to church planting or church-based ministry but also to diverse ministries such as music, mission to cultural minorities, ecology, urban and rural poor, the sick and troubled, labor, overseas workers, and their families farming or fishing communities, justice and peace endeavors, the youth, drug dependents, street children, orphans, prisoners, and the handicapped among other mission fields in response to the Great Commission and the application of holistic salvation drawn from the Western heritage through John Wesley's mission code, The World is My Parish. Bishop Han Theological Seminary is a fruit of vision by Methodist people in Southern Philippines that was realized in 2005 through the help of Jewel Methodist Church in South Korea. Their mission initiatives led to the establishment of a graduate school in theological education geared up to equip ministers of the island and a mission center for continuing education on evangelism and church planting for both lay and clergy. Through a constant coordination, the leadership of the senior pastor, Rev. Han sang hoo commenced a major step in realizing the vision by purchasing a land and constructing a seminary building. A 1.9-hectare land beaming along the National Highway in Barangay Lagitas Malaybalay City, Bukidnon, was acquired in October 2004 and consequently, the construction of the seminary chapel, dormitories, cafeteria, guest house, and two-story building for administrative offices and classrooms, and multi-purpose gymnasium, and recently, the ideal two-story library building was built. Every year, we have plenty of activities, like special lectures, evangelistic activities and revival nights, mission ministries, ministry for the orphans, spiritual retreats for faculty, staff, and students. We have also field trips, intramurals, and even planting trees. Holistic ministry is the core of theological learning, spiritual holiness, and social holiness. I am Reverend Samuel A. Miguel, the present seminary director of Bishop and Theological Seminary located at Lagitas, Malaybalay City, Philippines. I am very much privileged to be a part of the seminary and the men who have witnessed how the seminary began. At first, it was just like a dream through missionary Duhai Jong to establish the only Methodist seminary in the Philippines since the seminaries are all located in Luzon. I witnessed during the early building construction how Dr. Han sang the president founder of the seminary, carried hall blocks with group of young people. The visit of the businessmen and elders of Jew and Methodist Church 
reinforce my strong belief that this is a big commitment and dedication on their part for the establishment of the seminary. The Women's Association took a very important role for the love of the seminary and in many occasions they came to visit the school coupled with their prayers and support. Year 2005, when we started the first batch of the Bachelor of Theology program until Reverend Cheng Sun Li, the assigned missionary, came in and talked over the management and initiative in upgrading into Master of Divinity program. Until time came, the Dean of Academic Affairs, Dr. Arnaldo Estrella, introduced the seminary as Graduate School of Theology, offering the Master of Ministry program until beginning this school year 2018, a new graduate study program, the Master of Theology, was introduced with a handful of students enrolled. Thank you, Juan Methodist Church, all elders and women association who in one way or the other had participated in the growth of this seminary. To our beloved Dr. Han Sang Hu, our seminary president, for the all-out support of the seminary for all the financial and their prayers. The Reverend Lee Changson, our missionary who supervised the operation and management. And to all students that have been enrolled, rest assure you that our family and that our faculty and staff are dedicated and committed to equip, to equip you the knowledge you needed in your pastoral responsibility. I can see now a bright future of the seminary as an instrument in equipping and molding lives of our future pastor. To God, all be the glory. I am Reverend Arnaldo Estrella, serving as the Academic Dean of the Bishop Han Theological Seminary, Malaybalay City, Philippines. Bishop Han Theological Seminary is the only Methodist theological institution in the entire archipelago of Mindanao, offering Master of Divinity as its core program, and now with its new expanded program, the Master of Ministry and Master of Theology. These programs came into existence as a response of the seminary to the request of many evangelical churches, including the Methodist Church, for a seminary to open its door for their workers to be equipped and to be trained to become biblically competent Bible scholars and also scholars of church growth and for them also to become mission-oriented church workers. To date, Bishop Pant Theological Seminary has able to produce 60 graduates of its MDiv program and 58 graduates from its Master of Ministry program. These graduates are sent by the respective churches to various places in Philippines where church administrators, church planters, and gospel bearers are much needed. BSTS is inspired 
and strengthened by the love, prayers, financial support, and above all the moral support of the Chuan Methodist Church as its sponsoring church for its operation and for its program. It is also empowered by the Philippine Central Conference University Senate as a graduate school of theology to mold more workers not only from Methodist community but for other evangelical churches as well so that the advancement of the Kingdom of God in the Philippines will cover all the archipelago and indeed the Kingdom of God will be built powerfully in this country. To that, I hope and pray that the seminary will continuously exist with power by, partner, uh, by our partnership from partnership of the Chuan Methodist Church in Korea and also partnership of the Methodist Church in the Philippines. I ask humbly all of you listening today to please uphold BSTS in your prayers and in your uh, ministry as well. God bless you all. Thank you very much. Proverbs chapter 3, verses 1 to 6. My son, do not forget my teaching, but keep my commands in your heart, for they will prolong your life many years and bring you peace and prosperity. Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Then you will win favor and a good name in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to Him, and He will make your paths straight. <music>